Our third <laughs> guardian really needs no introduction, but we definitely have to invite uh, Amy Agbayani, a longtime fellow civil rights advocate and TLC board member, the, the mastermind behind the legal clinic, I would say. And the reason why I'm here today also, um, we actually, just a little bit of backstory, I met Amy through the late Faye Kennedy, um, you know, staunch civil rights activist, if you knew her. Um, I was privileged enough to do a special on her and her role on um, Martin Luther King. Sorry, I'm getting really kind of emotional about it. She was so amazing. Um, yeah, and so we lost her during the uh, early part of the pandemic. But she uh, introduced me to Amy, and I've been blessed to have a great relationship with her and continue to share some of these amazing stories of the people that are behind the scenes and helping our communities. So, Amy. <laughs> Aloha. I volunteered to introduce Senator Maisie Hirono tonight, and I was told not to read the wonderful brief printed bio in the program. I was also told to keep my introduction to one or two minutes, and so I decided not to read from her best-selling autobiography, Heart of Fire, An Immigrant Daughter's Story. I think, though, I can keep my introduction short and cover 40 years I have known Senator Maisie Hirono as a friend and as a tough, effective, public elected member of the State House of Representatives, Lieutenant Governor, member of the House of Representatives, and member of the Senate. Although I was already active in, Hawaii politi in the Hawaii Political Action League, organized by Patsy Mink, we did not endorse Maisie when she first ran for office in 1980 because we didn't know she was running. And also, she didn't know we existed. Fast forward, I am now a current member of the Patsy T. Mink PAC, inspired by Patsy Mink, and founded and organized by Maisie. We are the largest, because they were the only one, the, the only women's PAC in Hawaii to endorse state women candidates who are pro-choice. Mahalo, Senator, for your early steadfast support of women and your clear voice during, kind of nasty voice, during the Senate confirmation hearings on two Supreme Court Associate Justices. Your advocacy for reproductive rights, civil rights, equity issues, voters' rights, and gun control are really appreciated. For decades, I have waved signs for Maisie, but during the pandemic, on behalf of the legal clinic and other local and national partners, I have been waving at her in her DC and Honolulu home on Zoom. So we wave a lot on Zoom. As you know, Senator Hirono is the only immigrant in the Senate and the first Asian American woman senator. She is a leader on immigration and Asian American and Pacific Islanders' concerns. Yesterday was the final day of the month of May, which we celebrate as Asian American and Native Hawaiian Pacific Islander Heritage Month. And last week, as part of the Pacific Islander as part of the AANHIPI month, she Zoomed from DC as she wanted to focus on Pacific Islander community leaders. Senator Hirono uh, wanted to, pay, uh, to, to focus on the Pacific Islanders. Uh, they are the smallest group within the AANHPI category represent less than half a percent nationally and 4% of the state's population. But they are the highest uh, in COVID rates, lowest in education and income status, and face many barriers. In particular, many of the government policies we have actively exclude many rights and benefits to citizens of the three countries, COFA countries, Federated States of Micronesia, Marshall Islands, Republic of Palau. 
Her actions on behalf of Asian Americans, Pacific Islanders, immigrants, and, and refugees are too many to mention tonight. Senator Hirono is certainly a busy, effective, wonderful local and national advocate and a guardian of immigrant justice. Please join me in recognizing her best and please join me also in recognizing her best friend and husband, Leighton Oshima. Stand up, honey. <laughs> Yay. Thank you, Amy. I think a lot of you know Leighton, so he has his own cheering squad. Uh, Amy, considering that we have been really great friends for 40 years, uh, you really kept it kind of clean, didn't you? <laughs> Except you did see, sneak in the word nasty. Yeah, I'm nasty, all right. So that, that's something that President Trump, former President Trump, called me nasty. He called me vicious. But he never called me by my name. You know that? There you go, because I think he couldn't pronounce it. So that, that's my story. I am delighted to be here with so many of my friends in person. Wow, it's been a long time. And if, it is hard to believe that my first race was in 1980. Some of you weren't, maybe a lot of you weren't even born then. And uh, Leighton and I often talk about how the heck did we get this mature? Time has flown, but we have to persevere. As ju just as soon to be Justice Ketanji Jackson said, we have to persevere. So I'm really glad to be here with John. I visited your clinic. Thank you so much for training the next generation of very committed immigration lawyers at KNDI. Thank you for your voice and communicating to the public the, the, the information that they need to stay safe. So here I am with all of you friends. It's great. And as we finish the celebration, of the Asian American Native Hawaiian Pacific Islander Month. Just last week, I did a unanimous consent on a bill, which I thought the Republicans were gonna send somebody down to object. So it was a bill to create a commission to determine, and basically to give us a, a roadmap on how we can create an AAPI muse, National Museum. That is a big deal, we, and it passed. So. It is going to the, the president for his signature, and it is a, yet another bill that I worked really closely with Grace Meng of New York. It was her bill that passed the House, and it came over to us, and I was really glad to be able to carry that bill as uh, we worked together also on the passage of the COVID-19 hate crimes bill, which the president, by the way, he celebrated at the White House by inviting BTS. Do you guys know who BTS is? Thank goodness I'm in a, with a cool crowd. So I, I have said that I'm probably the only senator to know who BTS is, and uh, I love BTS. I, I am not a fan of any of the other Korean K-pop groups, so this is a very special group. And so they came to the White House, and I, I'm still waiting for my invitation. How do you like that? So it was, a, it was a great occasion for the president to talk with these seven wonderful Koreans, and as I told Leighton, you know, these days it's really cool to be Korean, and I'm glad that I'm married to one who's half Korean. <laughs> so, nobody's perfect, right? And then, uh, I think it's so important with uh, 11 million undocumented people, with so many immigration issues, that you all are doing such a wonderful job with major commitment and perseverance to provide the kind of le legal services that are so necessary because uh, you know that it's not just the 11 million plus undocumented people, but there are a lot of newly arrived immigrants who have, who have visas who still can't, uh, who still do not qualify for some of the social service programs and won't qualify for five years. So I put in a bill to eliminate that 30 year restriction on access to legal services. There is much work for all of us to do and um, you may know that I also happen to be the only Buddhist ever to be elected to the United States Senate. Because <laughs> religious diversity is also important. And so what I do is uh, that once in a while I focus on Zen things just to 
you know, keep my sort of the, my soul intact and all of that. And I have this on my wall. So I wanted to share this with you. These are Zen things. Do one thing at a time. Number two, do it slowly and deliberately. Three, do it completely. Four, do less. Five, put space between things. Six, develop rituals. Seven, designate time for certain things. Eight, devote time to sitting. Nine, smile and serve others. 10, make cleaning and cooking become meditation. My husband does the Zen of washing dishes. 11, think about what is necessary. And 12, really important as we face so many things that are going on that really uh, suck our souls a lot. The last of the 12 is live simply. Everyone stay safe, be kind, mahalo.